hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video guys in today's video i'll be sharing with you those fisherman soup guys fisherman soup is made up of different kinds of seafood okay so this soup is mostly eaten by the southern part of nigeria the river state okay so my mom is from river state and my grandparents from my montana my montana grandparents they were into farming fishing and hunting so back in the days we do a lot of fish like when my grandmom or my mom was used a lot of assorted kind of seafood okay so today i'll be sharing the recipe with you guys so yeah these are everything i'll be using to make this delicious fisherman soup so skip watching so in the tray here you can see my crab i have the video of how i clean the crab i also have the video of this snail that will be uploading soon and yeah i forgot to bring out the shrimp but i'll be introducing it later and i will show you guys okay so here are everything i need to make this soup here i have my red oil here i have coconut for thickener okay in here i have my salt i have my onion i have my ehuru seed i have my black pepper corn i have my pepper guys this pepper is jamaica pepper is very hot and i have my seasoning cube uh, i'm not sure i won't be using those two seasoning cube because you know fish is sweet already the crab everything is sweet 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 so here i have utazi utazi has a little bit of bitter taste guys if you want to enjoy this fish this fisherman soup add a little bit of utazi okay and i also showed you guys my coffee so these are everything i'll be making this delicious fisherman soup so i also have my shrimp which i'll be showing you guys later but before we start making the soup we'll have to peel up the coconut cook and yeah set it aside so here we don't peeling it off place in the pot will allow it to cook until it's soft and tender for our blender to work with so while the coconut is cooking in here in a different pot i'll be introducing all the thing the fish so i i just poured in the ehuru seed the black pepper corn my onion and my pepper blend i just poured it into the pot here i'm adding my seasoning cube i'll be adding a little bit of salt to taste we'll be we'll be adding our crab i'll be adding the snail i'll basically add everything i need to make this soup because this doesn't take long to cook okay so i'm adding the snail right here and yeah i'm adding the shrimp like i said i forgot to bring out the shrimp so it's still it's still frozen okay so i will just give that a quick miss okay so you cover and allow it to cook so over here the coconut is ready and here i have the coconut ready and my crayfish i will go ahead and blend it but before then i have to put one and a half cooking spoon of red oil to the pot i will add water enough to cook the soup i will cover and allow it to cook here yeah, as you can see the soup is really doing well it's boiling nicely okay so we are done blending the coconut and the crayfish i will now transfer the coconut and the crayfish blend into the pot okay at this point you can add adjust your seasoning so i will add water and i'll move that don't over miss this so you don't break the fish like i said this soup doesn't take time because these are seafood seafood doesn't take time to cook i will cover and allow everything to come to boil nicely okay guys at this point the aroma 
like the aroma of the ehoro seed the black pepper corn and the seafood like it was so amazing so at this point the prewinkle and the utazi leaf is the last thing we'll be adding on this soup as soon as you add it you allow it to simmer and your soup is ready this soup is very quick guys and this soup was so delicious I really enjoy making this soup okay so you give that a quick mix allow it to boil just for a minute and your soup is ready guys this soup because it's coconut you don't want it on the thick side it has to be light coconut soup is not supposed to be thick it's supposed to be on the light side guys this soup eh oh my god this soup is super delicious and if, if you're making this soup it has to be spicy that way you will enjoy it because seafood you need to make it spicy to enjoy it so i really made this soup very spicy because i was the only one eating this soup my husband is not a seafood person he doesn't eat seafood so i was the only one guys please if you are interested come and join me guys this soup was worth making this soup was worth making. I'm not even exaggerating. And it tastes super delicious. With the ehuru seed, I added a black pepper corn. Okay. This soup was super delicious. So here is our soup. So I'm dishing out some soup for myself to eat because I was really starving because of the soup. So now I'm going to dish out some I'm super hungry. So if you're interested, come and join me, guys. Oh my god. I have shared emo state way of making soup. So here I'm sharing with you guys river state fisherman soup, guys. So my mom is from River State. So I bring you guys a delicacy from my mom's village so the one i shared your hot soup that was from my dad's side okay so check it out if you haven't seen that video i will leave it at the description box below guys those soups are just delicious